Virginia, how you been? Good. <laughs> it's been, uh, so as we said off camera, it's been a couple of years, right? You look in great shape. I follow you on social. I know that you've been working hard. You're focused again. Let me go back to last year, though. Japan, Olympics. You had a great experience, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, everybody wants to win. Take me through it. Yeah, it was amazing. It was a really special summer because last year in winter it started a bit, <laughs> a bit bad. But I was really happy with my summer. Even though I always thought that I could run faster, so I was always a bit like looking for that good race. But overall, I'm really happy how it went last year. So you just uh, finished second today, right? Just now, yeah. you got out. Looks like the rest of the field is trying to catch up with you. How's your pre-season gone? The winter looks like you're in great shape. Yeah, it was also a bit difficult. <laughs> I had a COVID a few weeks ago. That's why I missed some competitions. That's why I feel like I needed some more races. But I have nationals next week and then uh, other competitions. So I'm really happy um, how it goes so far, but I'm, I'm sure I can run faster. What do you hope for this year? What's the priority? Uh, the World Championships, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so what, you hope, what do you expect from yourself? I mean, considering where you finished in the Olympic Games? Yeah, <laughs> I want to run a PB for sure. Uh, the best would be at the, at the World Championships. But I think I can run a PB, so I hope uh, it's going to be possible this winter. If you run a PB, that puts you in the medals, mate. Yeah, that's a goal. <laughs> Listen, thanks for your time. You're looking in great shape, right? Thanks a lot. COVID, you in one piece? You good? I'm good, I'm good. It was just a bit annoying with the competitions because I couldn't travel, so it was yeah, a bit frustrating to sit at home, being in a good shape and not being able to compete, but I'm good now. <laughs> good to catch up with you again. Thanks for your time. Thank you. You're in good shape, man. And you're continuing on from last season, right? Yeah. I guess lockdown suited you. <laughs> you know, I feel like I came out of that pandemic situation and it was either sink or swim so I thought this is my chance I'm gonna grab this with both hands and I'm gonna come out of this on the on the better side you know because I feel like that was a very tough time for us all and I wanted to make sure it had meaning to it for me um, individually. I mean if I could have jumped through my TV last year and give you a hug in Japan I would have man so happy for you man and it's continuation for me it's like yeah. one year after the other yeah. there's some there were some spots in the middle where you're like mm, you know could have been better but you seem to be progressing in the right way. Talk, of, talk about how you approach this season based on that success. Yeah, I feel like last year was an amazing season. I'd probably say it was my big breakthrough season. I made the Olympic final, which was my main goal. I ran sub 11 seconds three times for the first time. Um, and I was lining on the start line with the best in the world every single race. So I definitely achieved what I wanted to achieve for that season. And I think for me, it's just about having that continuation and realizing actually I am one of the best and I need to aim for these medals, these individual medals. So I feel like this year for me, I'm very motivated um, by coming last in the final in Olympics. And that's not a place that you ever see me in again. So. What's the priority for you? But then what's the priority? Um, yeah, well, we've got worlds. We've got so many championships this year. I think if I can get individual medals, that's where I want to be. Good luck with all of it, right? Think so about much. your priorities and what keeps you motivated and what keeps you looking at, you know, the end goal. I mean, I, I don't have an individual medal outdoors in the 100, so I got to do what I got to do to do that. Um, I started training a little later this year, November, and slowly getting going. Not running fast early, running slow so early. You know what I'm saying? Is that, is that all down to training smart now, not just training hard? Smarter, I'm 36, so it takes longer to recover, and you know, just got to do things smarter. Still love the sport, Mike? Love the sport, love competing in front of the fans. It's fun for me, but next year, that's it. After next year, yeah. Done. Done, done. Done, done. Okay. Sure. Okay. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Talk about um, your performance from your perspective. From my perspective, it was uh, way better than the trials. <laughs> but I expected that. Uh, going into the first round, I was like, you know, my positions are there. I just need to, you know, get more hot, get ready. I need to do more blocks in the back, um, just getting my system moving again, you know. And uh, that's exactly what we did. We went back there and we did probably about five block starts and some uh, some flies. And I was, went to my coach and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> How do you prepare yourself for this season? To be honest, it, it's really off the work of last season. Um, really going through that whole year and be like, all right, I'm slowly building my system back up. Because I feel like it took so long to you know, turn on last year. And now coming off with that 19.5 and going into this season, it's like I'm already turned on. So everything is naturally moving faster paced than it was you know, from even three years ago or even in 2019 and 2018. So I'm like, wow, you know, I'm, I'm doing I'm moving at a faster pace, so I can handle bigger workouts. So, you know, we're not stressing anything. So that's kind of how every day has been going. I 
I'm just happy to be back here in Birmingham to perform. I hope we had two rounds to get that, you know, fire going, but I only had one round, but I gotta see the best I cannot complain. So it was nice to come in and see where you are, see how the winter's gone. Talk to me, how was your winter? How was adjusting from last year to this year? Well, the season has been going good so far. You know, looking back on last season, it was an amazing one. And to come back this season, it's really fast, it's really quick, but it's a part of my, my job. And this is a preparation for me to see where I'm at right now. I'm not sure if I'll be doing it indoors, but I'm just using this as a preparation for my outdoor. How, does, um, how did lockdown treat you? How was it for you? The whole lockdown period, the pandemic and the fact that you, everything was so different? Everything was pretty much good for me you know due to the fact that we had the caught the covid but it was not hard for me i still do my preparation i still do my training i just take necessary precaution i protect myself wear my mask wash my hands stuff like that social distance if i don't have to be on the road i just stay inside but for me i would not complain it was not very hard for me at all what's jamaica like now that you're the one <laughs> well, Jamaica is the same as I just focus on me and my work all the time to just stay focused and positive and to keep it going. Priority for the year then? Pardon? It's a priority for the year. Oh, the priority is stay fit, stay focused, you know, work towards the World Championship. It's in Eugene, close to home, you know. I have not won a title at a World Championship, so my priority is to claim a, a goal at the World Championship, either the one or the two. Right, well, good luck with that. We're going to see you at the Commonwealth Games? Pardon? We're going to see you at the Commonwealth Games? I am not sure. Honestly, I, I cannot decide right now, but my priorities are a championship. Thank you for your time. Good luck, right? Yeah, man, thanks.